Chloe, we're ready. Oh, sorry. Episode four. Fight is an environmental series that showcases your poems and songs inspired by the natural world. Now it's time to introduce you to your online neighbours as we watch through all of your entries and let you vote for the first ever Fight Award winners. The most popular poet and musician will each win a £500 prize and the same amount will go to an environmental charity of their choice. Head to the Homestage website to vote now. Rise and Fall by Marianne Harvey Rise and Fall Leaves flow down river, cascading water sings, song of grass and fish and shimmers, each stone an opportunity for joy. In the nearby woods, magpies scatter opinions, poplars leave sigh softly at the passing wind. Above ancient ferns and moss, a cacophony of harmonies rises and falls, rises and falls. Far away, in a shroud of mist, iceberg A68 cracks to its doom. Sheets of ice, like a breath, rise and fall, rise and fall. Personification of nature in that, isn't there? Mm. Very, very strong throughout. And it kind of makes me, I don't know whether this is intentional, but the rise and fall makes me feel like maybe a sleeping person mm. with their rising and falling as they're sleeping. Um, like maybe dormant for now, but gonna wake up. I don't know. I, oh, I mean, I love it. I know Marianne's poetry, and she, she does this so well when she does a really, I don't know, a very understated image. The in the lines, um, the poplars leave sigh softly at the passing wind. That's so beautiful to say, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also that gentleness of the rising and the falling, even with the poplars leaves. And then you get to the end and you hear about Iceberg A68 cracks to its doom, but still we come back to the rise and fall, yeah. the rise and fall. And it's, you, we've had a, we get a real range of poems where either they're, a, sometimes they're celebratory of nature, sometimes they're really despairing, and sometimes they've got this really gentle sort of acceptance, but it's like defeatist nature to mm -hmm. it. And Marianne's is just like a beautiful mix of kind of all of them. Yeah. It's yeah. really beautiful. Mm. What is it called? That that um, obviously there's alliteration. Yeah. But the poplar leaves yes. sigh softly at the pass, passing wind, and it sounds like the wind. What's that called? Were you describing like onomatopoeia? Maybe. Well, yeah. It sounds like the thing that it Crash, is. Bang, wallop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And how good is that line? So above ancient ferns and moss, a cacophony of harmonies. It's almost like contradictory. Yeah, it is. Yeah, harmony is, you feel, you imagine them being complementary, the but then a cacophony of them, it feels like there's a real level of unsettling... Dissonance, almost. Yeah. Yeah, so it is, that's really nice juxtaposition there. Yeah, I love it. Aviation produces around 3% of all carbon emissions worldwide. In addition to this, flights create other forms of damage. The water vapour and cirrus clouds that planes trail behind them has a warming impact three times that of carbon. Although in, in its early stages, one particularly encouraging story is that France is intending to ban flights between locations that could be reached within a shorter than two and a half hour train journey. France is also moving towards attacks on private jets, which create more than 14 times as much pollution as commercial planes. This is Flights of Geese by Paul Thompson. How many days to let go? Only Yeah. 
so far away Cause that last wind always gets its way Fills me with wonder every time They come back in line In the sky something that I think is really good he said that it feels like like it's el elation you yeah. know like you're flying and I think that's so good because obviously it's geese and they a skein of geese are they the ones who fly is it a skein that flies a skein oh I don't know maybe one of them's for when they're still one's for when they're yeah. flying but anyway it feels like you've got the when geese are home they've migrated yeah. you know and it feels so it's like a celebration mm. it's like he's seen these geese and he's thinking I just have to put it into a song and I mean that's that's what can be so good about this sort of thing <laughs> <laughs> but it, like not all the songs will be about like if, if it's in relation to nature and climate mm -hmm. change not all will be completely sad some of them will be like a celebration of yeah. everything that we do have and I was trying to remember is it Wordsworth who said that um what is it Come on, quote it. I think it's that poetry is the overflow of emotions or something like that. Okay, I probably butchered that. Please tell me if I've done... Well, I've even if you butchered wrong. it, you could be quoted on that because that's a nice quote. Yeah, okay, well, that's <laughs> my quote, quote now. But that's exactly what this is. It's just an overflow of just joy at seeing yeah. something beautiful. Yeah, and it's true. In a song. And I think that celebrating nature and recognising how clever nature is, the fact that these geese know where to go, their instincts, the fact that they do fly in that, that V, you, you kind of underestimate just how smart nature is. And so I love that there mm. is a bit of a celebration, something that we may see all the time and take for granted. Just you mm. see a V of geese go past, a skein of geese maybe. Check out all full entries on the website. Vote for your favourites. Thanks for joining the fight. <laughs>